All right, welcome back to Trials in a Trench Coat. I'm Midhearts3, and today we are back in Dragon Age 2. Last time we completed Acts of Mercy, where we aided the mages, we unfortunately killed the Templars, and it was an interesting time all around, yes. Unfortunately, we couldn't have saved them, but if we did have Varric in the party, then we would have been able to. And then we also did the run around trying to finish Finder's Keepers for Martin, in which we found out he was selling poisons, but he's doing it the legitimate way. So, he, we kind of let him go, and we took our money and left. And he said that once he gets his stuff set up, then he'll give us a discount. Uh, today kind of doing a little last minute cleanup we have friends in low places and we have loose ends so today we're probably going to do loose ends for Mirren we're, we're going to figure that out and then we're going to deliver this stuff uh we also got attacked last time in, by the redwater guard no redwater raiders the redwater teeth hmm that's a weird name but these guys have been attacking me in large numbers for a very long time. Not even a very long time, for like the past few episodes. And now, one of them had a note in his pocket, a note in his pocket about something. About where to find what's going on. Kind of like with sharp little pinpricks, but different. Different group. Same soup, just reheated. It's literally the same thing. Same group we've run into and... It's, it's just a raider group we've been running into and it's been causing us problems, and then, yeah. So, uh, we'll do, yeah, we'll do loose ends first, and then we'll go and do the shawl of Dales de Terre, and the grimoire of the apprentice, and then, if we have time, friends in low places, and then we should really be all set to do the Deep Roads Expedition. I kind of want to do a once-over, kind of make sure that we've gotten everything from the, this act. So we'll have like another cleanup video, but that's just about running around the world and making sure that we've picked up everything. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get started. Most ends. I am still at the house. Damn, I haven't left. So we'll leave and I think I might just bring... I think I'll be fine being the only mage. All right. Go town night. Sense. Oh right. The other dudes here as well. Oh, see, so like right around the corner. Wait, who's right around the corner from me? And why do I have to level up? Oh no, it's Carver. Okay, wait, I was checking out the map first. <laughs> okay, so here he is, and then there's the other dude. Okay. <clears throat> Mirren. Well, if it ain't my favorite new citizen. What are you doing here? That's what I'm wondering. You Did you ask finally for me. figure out being free and poor in Kirkwall ain't worth a rat spit? Man, if you could see the amount of sovereigns I have in my pocket right now, he'd probably flip right off the balcony behind him and land in the water. You had an offer for me. You mean you're not too good for my kind of work? Because the blokes I hired after you couldn't find their ass with both hands. I sent them to take out Lord Harriman while he was preparing his cargo for shipping. Nighttime, docks, simple. Never came back. I haven't heard a job in this yet. The job's the same. Kill Harriman, but there'll be a bonus if you find my men alive. I assume this isn't personal. Jobs paid for second hand by some other old Kirkwall family. The nobles here like to shank each other for sport. We're just their knives. Who's Lord Harriman? I don't know the who, but the what is old and rich. Rumor says he's a savvy one. His daughters give him marriage ties to half the city. I'm sure I can finish what they started. They were supposed to ambush him at the docks. That'd be the best place to start looking. And remember, 
Harriman dead, my lad Gustav alive. Other way around, then you don't get paid. Mm hmm. All right, so we're tasked to find this Gustav and kill Harriman. And that's okay. And at the docks, very right, cool. While we're here, actually, let's go find out what this Dugal person has to say. Dogal, Dugal, whatever. Hello. Well, well. Now it's beginning to all make sense. Do I know you? I know him. I thought Bartran told you to clear off, Dougal. Calm yourself, Varric. I just wanted to meet your brother's new business partner. That remains to be seen. And that's what I need to talk to you about. Dougal's one of my dear brother's ex-partners. Bartran turned aside my offer of help, even though I had the coin to spare. Thing is, I still think it's a promising venture. The fool won't let me invest, but if someone like you invested on my behalf... What do you think? Hard to say. Dougal's never done me any harm. See? There you go. Still don't trust you. You're as sour a bastard as my brother without the family connection to make it easier to swallow. Do what you like. I came to you, not to him. But we do need the coin. Bartrand was pretty desperate for help. He must have had a good reason to turn you down. You did. We had a... disagreement. They tried to kill each other. You've met Bartrand, yes? Someone would need the patience of a Bronto not to want to kill him. But what's done is done. Now his pride won't let him take my coin, even if it ruins him. He won't be happy if I do this. He'd lose his mind. Not that it wouldn't be funny to watch. Then why tell him? Bartrand is better off not knowing a lot of things. This way he's happy, you're happy, and I'm happy. We're all happy. Just what kind of terms are we talking about here? I give you what Bartrand needs. Bartrand thinks it's your coin. Then when the expedition's done, you pay me back double. What if I don't have double? This might all be for nothing. If you really think it's such a waste of coin, why go at all? I think double's the very least I could earn back for this kind of investment, don't you? This seems suspicious. <laughs> I'm taking quite a gamble myself. I'm willing to bet you're a good risk. Bartran obviously thinks so. You care to extend the same courtesy to me? Alright, so in this, we can accept his deal, and he literally, if you've been so bad with your money, you have just been buying stuff, or you accidentally bought stuff, you weren't really taking care, that now it's narrowing down to the end of the act, so there's not many jobs and they don't really pay a lot, he will give you 50 sovereign, but there's always a catch. Or you were good with your money, or you just don't really need his help, or don't want his help, you can say forget it. And that's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say forget it. I have enough money. Thank you. If Bartran doesn't want your help, neither do I. Think you can come up with a coin all on your own, eh? Fair enough. My sister always has something up her sleeve. She'd better. You change your mind? Come talk to me. I doubt this expedition is going anywhere in the meantime. That's literally hilarious because I literally have 90 something sovereign just burning a hole in my back pocket. And it's not really burning a hole for much longer because the expedition's not too far off if I'm gonna have my way. But let's head to. Oh, it's Kirkwall Day? Right, we were just in Kirkwall night. Wait a tick. Yeah, it literally says Kirkwall Day. That is so weird. Me you tell me Who plans a heist like this in the day? I thought the reefs around the wounded coast were made of candy. Oh, come on. And a demon told me to do it. It bet me 60 sovereigns and a bottle of port. You're not the only one here who can bullshit, you know? At least his would be more believable. 60 sovereign, a bottle of port, and a demon? That seems a little far-fetched. 
I'm so confused. Her him, but leave him alive. We sent this little rat. No other. What? You're She's just standing there. It disrupted it. Oh, never mind. I didn't. Oh, there's still more people? Okay, well, that was a lot of guards. There's still more people. Never mind. Hawk. I've seen you with Miriam before. Did he send you to get me? Harriman's guards killed all my men. I thought I gave them the slip, but they found me. You tell Miriam. I never turned on him. I'm not going back until you can walk, limp or cruel, behind me. I, I think I can walk. You got it before Harriman's men could do much damage. His rear guard saw us coming. They fell on us from all sides. Which any professional would have expected. That's him. That's Lord Harriman. Most of my enemies would not stoop this low. Are you working for Conrad Tooley? Perhaps Lady Reinhardt? What have you done that so many people want you dead? You sound Ferelden. We are. So you should know I'm the one who convinced the Viscount to send aid to Denerim. Many of my fellow noblemen resent that. They want me dead before he sends the money so they can reclaim it for Kirkwall. Will you kill me for this? This is not a job I can complete. Thank you, Ferelden. When I learn who sent you, I will be sure to leave you out of any retribution. I don't want to be the one to tell Mirren you did that. Well then, that was interesting. So I guess we're gonna have to go back and tell Mirren that we just let the dude go, but... I can't just... kill him knowing that he helped Denerim. I mean, and what's my homeland to me at this point? I don't know. But what I do know is that I can't just go around killing people when it ain't right. Unfortunately, he did kill all of Gustav's men, so I guess that's a tick against them, but it's too late now. So, Gustav limped back here, but refuses to speak one word of what happened. Spit it out. Is Harriman dead or not? He was gone by the time I got there. I just killed his guards. <laughs> I thought you were better at this. Guess nothing happens if I don't do it myself. Forget the bounty, but here's a bit for bringing Gustav back. If you're up for more of this sort of work, let me know. I could make some arrangements. I'm good, but we get one sovereign for lying. Yep, this is literally the only way to get paid at all. So if we ended up killing him, we would get three sovereign. But since we lied instead, but we brought back Gustav, we get one sovereign. Which ain't half bad in the long run.
Uh, let's see if I can find a way out. Yeah, let's go do some of the side quest stuff. Drop stuff off and whatnot. Uh, not friends in low places, but Grimoire of the Apprentice. Of the Apprentice. You look like a man I once dueled. He was a little intimidated by my reputation as a vicious pirate, but rose to the challenge. He looked like me, you say? It went on all night, under the stars, the waves lapping at our ankles. On the beach? In the surf? How did you get a proper footing? We didn't. There was quite a bit of tumbling around, and we were soaked and sore by the time the sun came up. Did you... win? I managed to get on top in the end, but I considered it a tie. Mm-hmm. Uh, psh, guys on the other side? Uh, well, we're already at the staircase, so we can just continue down, around. Luke? Oh, hello. This is yours, if I'm not mistaken. Thank the Maker and various others. I need to lock this up. Yeah, you need to lock that up. What kind of store? Is this even a store, or are you just here next to these books? Weaponsmith and whatnot. Sergeant. The mystery of who killed those swindlers will ever be solved. Oh, hmm. Yes, unfortunate. All right, then we can head to. I think it's High Town. I think we have to go to High Town. Yes. Oh, the Chantry, Venice's Mansion, right, 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 and then Viscount's Keep. We'll have to go to the Viscount's Keep as well because I want to. I don't know if it has the three, or maybe we can just check the codex <clears throat> about if we got all three pieces of the band of three. I think we have two. So one was in the. I keep saying we want to go back to the Viscount's office because so, we found one in the Viscount's office. Captain the ship. Oops. That's a lot of men to handle for you to command. Well, aren't you just adorable fumbling for a topic? You say that like I'm harmless. As harmless as a pup that will someday grow into its fangs and sink them deep. Sure, keep teasing. I'll show you how much of a pup I am. I know. That's why I do it. I can't have you two in a party anymore. You two are weird. Welcome, merchant. Not here to sell today, guardsman. My shipment's late. Well, good luck to you then. <sighs> <laughs> Day moves on in the high town quarter. Oh right, Bodan is in this game. I almost forgot. Oh no, not not Barchin. We're not going to talk to Barchin. Uh, journal. For a little while longer. Yeah, okay, I don't care. Uh, peer pressure. No, we're here for the shawl thing. Oh. Crest of the, the blooming world. Just keeping the peace. It's like, hey, you have fifty sovereign. Don't you want to go and totally do this right now? No, no, no. I don't. I have too much stuff that I want to make sure that I have finished. No stone left unturned. So to speak. I've got your usual ready and waiting for you upstairs, Sarah. Many thanks, Madam C. Oh. The gang's all here. It's Mirren and Gamlin. And Sabina's brat. Heaven. Oh. I think I found something of yours. I didn't expect to see this again. Thank you. Truly. No problem. All right, Gamlin. I won't mention this to your mother if you don't. Yeah, 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 sure. Hello. The Reldon, are you? We are not a charitable organization, Sarah. If you cannot pay, you will have to take your lonely self elsewhere. Is that clear? Wow. Hmm. Maybe I'll get one of my own. Two sovereigns for premium service, one sovereign for standard service. 
50 silver and someone may touch you. Briefly. I'm not interested. Of course you aren't. Poverty had nothing to do with your decision, I'm sure. People are so mean. They don't even know. They're just so mean. <laughs> People are terrible. And nothing will ever change my mind. She was just... Like, how do you get business being like that? Well, I guess, you know... Yeah. 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 Alright, let's go back down to the docks. Excuse me. Docks nighttime. Daytime? Nighttime. Nighttime. For some strange reason, the docks nighttime. The docks little tab thing just ain't working. It just isn't working at all. Oh shoot, we can't change parties. Party members and whatnot. Oh well, I guess it's alright. We'll just have them together. Alright, come on, crowd all around. Nope, not that. Yes. Dear heavens, yeah, we need to get rid of these people. They're doing way too much. Everything. Oh, that's the warehouse we need to go into. Cool. Let's just let's just go in. Mm-hmm. Hello? There's some dude named Leech up there. Oh, there's some mage named Leech up there. Like, absolutely not. Blood magic is a no no. Alright, cool. Oh, we all done. Okay. We're all getting our health back. Uh, by the- oop. Nope. We're not done yet. That is done now. Quest completed. So we can loot everything. There's a crate by the door with a moth eaten scarf in it. Heading down the steps to the pier first. Don't see anything at all, actually. So we can head back up. And then up the ramp where we killed Leech. He's got 14 silver, 9 coppers, and footpad secret in it. Uh, going more to the lift, the upper level that he was 
trying to get to. There's a crate, a mothy, and scarf uh, going through the door. There's nothing in this room this time, which is kind of surprising. We head down the ramp to the left and then start looting. Red, Red Water Raider, 5 silver, 44 copper. Another Raider with 13 silver, 97 copper. Another one with 5 silver, 17 copper. Uh, exploring more of the bottom floor first. Taking a look around, don't really see anything. So we can go up the steps. And I guess we'll try and see if we can do a loop. So we'll expend this upper level before heading into the rooms, going all the way to the end of the catwalk, kind of. Following the railing, there's a crate with a moldy rag doll in it. Then heading back and going to the middle door first, immediately off the steps. We get into the room. There is nothing. Nothing in here. Nothing in here at all. We can exit the room and then go down to the other room and this door is inaccessible. Both doors are inaccessible. That means we are done here. Journal. Uh, yeah. Everything is gone. All oh, there's is friends in low places and a deep roads expedition. That is wild. We still have like all of our stuff. Clothing, cement, mage pack too. Mage pack. But we are good. Journal. Um, codex. Yes. Lore. So we finished all the history of Kirkwall books. Or maybe there's more. Maybe there could be five or six. I don't know. But it seems like everything is in kind of a alphabetical order. Or is in an alphabetical order. So I just need to figure out where the band of three stuff lie. And then I can figure out. Oh right, the codex entry isn't called the band of three. It's called the Enigma of Kirkwall. So, not there, here. Here it is, the Enigma of Kirkwall. Uh, yeah, I only have two. Behind a panel, the curious marking sign, the band of three. That one was in the Viscount's office. And then underneath a pile of small boulders carved with curious markings and sign, the band of three. That one was before we entered the bone pit, I'm pretty sure. So... Just need to find the second door. Okay, so there's four that you can get in here in Act One. So I'm gonna go through in this episode and then get them. The next episode, I'm thinking if there will be a next episode, but I'm gonna try and clean up on the supplier achievement, make sure I have absolutely everything because I don't want to miss a thing. That's a song. Okay. I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to mess up the supplier achievement at all. And while it could be kind of padded out with whatever you can get at the Black Market, I mean the Black Emporium, Black Market, the Black Emporium, I'd rather get them from the world. And if I do find some, and it is a lot of them, then I'll put a video to it. But if not, then I'll do it just before going to the um, Deep Roads Expedition. I kind of want the Deep Roads Expedition to be its own video as kind of like a segue into the next act. But at the same time, it is what it is. And sometimes you just can't be helped. So, um, remembering what I have and what I don't have, we're going to go to the Gallows Courtyard first. So I have to go back to the daytime. Okay, so immediately coming to the Gallows Courtyard, um, we have to go right and then go to the rightmost area of the map. I saw you oh wow, Colin just- Rose the other night. What? No you didn't. I suppose someone else stole your chin to romance Faith? That's unlikely. She wasn't even working. Mm-hmm. Got you. <laughs> oh, nicely done. You're just- that's not what I- oh, shit. Wow. Carver. 
don't be like Gamlin. He's you can be better than him. So so much better than him. And you won't even have to try very hard. You just you just have to you know what? Forget it. Come on. I've told the Knight Commander of your service. Oh, more attention. That's just grand. She commends your quick thinking and has agreed to keep the lad Karen around for observation. Oh, good. I've heard a lot about the Knight Commander. What's she really like? She is not an easy taskmaster, but it is not an easy task. I would not have liked her when I was younger. I thought mages deserved a softer touch. But Meredith is never fooled by a sweet face. She always sees the demon behind it. Wow. This... Wow. You sound Ferelden. How did you end up here? I was in the Circle Tower in Ferelden when Uldred summoned his demons. I was held in a cage for... I can't even say. Weeks? Months? It was one unending nightmare. I watched what those mages did, what they became. I would gladly give my life to avoid seeing that again. What's it like being in the Order? Do you feel you're accomplishing anything? The Templars are not a good choice for anyone who requires a strong sense of achievement. It is a losing battle. Every day new mages are born in Thedas. Every day those born a dozen years ago come into their power. The best we can do is to contain the threat and recruit more to fill our own ranks when they're emptied. It's interesting hearing him talk about this and it's so sad because it's just like it's like do you do you like being a Templar or how do you like being a Templar and he's like it's a daunting task majors are born every day and then after 10 years or so they just come into their power and whatnot so we just have to be vigilant so it's like wow this is what has happened to you I mean, it's a slow process to heal, especially after the ordeal he's been through, but, like, it's, it's saddening, you know, seeing how much he's changed since Dragon Age Origins, but I mean, I guess it can't be helped, what he's been through and the trauma he's endured. Can I just leave? I don't, I don't want to have this conversation with you. <laughs> I don't want to have this conversation at all. You have to admit, the Templars have brought some of this hatred on themselves. That is the popular school of thought, no? It used to be that Templars were welcomed wherever they went, for defending people from dark magics. Now the townsfolk are as likely to slam their doors as offer as a bed. The image of the poor chained apprentice is a powerful one, and one the mages are more than willing to exploit. Wow. Carver, shut up. <laughs> I'm not having that. Kieran, please don't put me in another philosophical kind of sentence, please. I don't know what to say. I owe you everything. What those blood mages wanted to do to me. Mm -hmm. Glad we were able to save him. Don't get stabbed again. Buy armor today. Wow. Um, there's a book back there called Death of a Templar, so we're going to pick it up. The dry, dusty earth swallows up the salty tears that splatter its surface. Tiny insect pauses, sensing the, sensing the vibrations, and scurries off, leaving behind its invisible enemy. As the drops fall, the dark circles merge together, expressing a mirror to their creator. The primal emotions of bloodlust and sorrow blend into a lethal cocktail that breaks the strongest of men. The jurisdiction of strength must be left to the spirit. Not arm nor chest. Only the wisest turn to his inner sanctuary to partition the mind from an all consuming madness. Seductive voices whispering promise of glory wading down the weaker path of the flesh, bringing a death far worse than what than that of hot lead or steel. These blank hollow promises will echo the unfathomable eternally. Living comfortably amongst the material possessions, it is easy to misunderstand the true meaning of uncontrollable hate. Failing to understand the power of fighting against pure, unfaltering beliefs, against the 
those that listen only to their soul, uncontrollable hate, influenced and thus removed from innocence. The scar is permanent and internal. The rain now red feeds the debt owned for actions past, seeking further into the earth as the mind draws slower. What was it that drew him himself to the situation? The mind ebbs and parts to a lingering memory of true innocence. They entered war as a newborn enters the world, unknowing of both the horrors and the light of the maker that will save him. The sound of metal sliding against leather comes from above him. From the second he was born to his soon-to-be-dying breath, his mind was processing and analyzing knowledge and experiences. It is true that he thought he could be wise in his own eyes, but only the most humble recognizes that he knows very little. Bias speculation and all the false pretenses make way to the sound of sweeping steel and then finally his soul, as ready as his eyes dry from his final understanding, enters his promise of its purest form. From Death of a Templar by Sir Andrew, Knight of Andraste and Templar Archivist, 9-4 Dragon. Wow, that was, that was something, I'll give him that. Alright, but we are on the lookout for a little path hidden by rubble. Oh, here it is. Hidden, a little path hidden by rubble. Uh, the Enigma of Kirkwall. Ancient Deventer lore is hard to come by, but there's history to be had here in Kirkwall. The city once home to the Imperium slave trade. What answers does Kirkwall hold? Why look here instead of Paraventium or Valdorma? The Imperium does not give up its secrets easily. Even with the Magister centuries dead, our journey is perilous. Here on the docks of the gallows, we renew our vows, and should we fail, search for the markings of the Band of Three. Oh. A tattered letter found under a cobblestone. It has curious markings and it is signed, the Band of Three. Who is the Band of Three? See, since I, I played Inquisition. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's this guy. We're not going to talk to him. He might. I'm afraid to get in a long dialogue speech like with Cullen over there. But the Band of Three. This game in its threes. So there is. There are three demons that I remember. I don't remember if there are more. But if it's just those three, then this could probably be it. But it may not be i'm not sure it's it's kind of weird see the band of three it could be something else it could be something else entirely or it could be to those three demons that i remember so the three demons it's one his name begins with an x the other one is the guy that we fought in denarim so during dragon age origins we go to denarim and then there's that kind of like that hovel in the back alley where um kind of it's like down the steps from where you fight the reverend there's like a little door and everything and then you can talk to whoever is on the opposite side of the door and he's a demon and then the other demon the third one is Imshail and he's in Suladin's keep in Empress de Leon in Dragon Age Inquisition so it's interesting that we'd probably be fighting, oh well, no, I haven't fought the other guy, I don't know where he's in, but since I haven't fought him, he's probably in this game now that I think about it. But one demon per thing. That would be interesting nonetheless. But then again, since they're kind of looking for information about Kirkwall, you'd think demons would already probably have that information. Or something like they wouldn't be more curious about it. So maybe it isn't them at all. Yeah, maybe it isn't them at all. Maybe I'm stretching a little bit. Oof. No, I'm not stretching. I reached. I reached too far. Now I need to stretch. 
but let's go so the other one is by Meryl's house actually so we're probably gonna go in and then we'll have to go back out bye Meryl bye Meryl sorry have I read alienage culture before there's always been alienages they have been around for as long as elves and shems have lived in the same lands ours isn't even the worst they say that the Val Royo has 10,000 elves living in the space no bigger than Denrim's market. Their walls are supposedly so high that daylight cannot reach this tree until midday. But don't be so anxious to start tearing down the walls and picking fights with the guards. They keep out more than they keep in. We don't have to live here, you know. Sometimes a family gets, to, gets a good break and they buy a house in the docks or the outskirts of town. If they're lucky, they come back to the alienage after the looters have burned their house down. The unlucky ones just go to the pauper's field. Here, we're among family. We look out for each other. Here, we do what we can to remember the old ways. The flatters who have gone out there, they're stuck. They'll never be human. And they've gone and thrown away being elven too. So where does that leave them? Nowhere. Zarathia Haharen of High Ever Alienage. Oh, interesting. Okay, and we haven't read that one. That's interesting as well. Okay, in Low Town Night, there's this manhole cover back here, and then behind it is the Enigma of Kirkwall. So, in the back alleys of Low Town, you can find extraordinary things. Priceless tomes of knowledge can be bought with a handful of gold. A chance of Archon Lovis, a whole chapter of the Midnight Compendium. Some of these books were thought lost forever. And these are no forgeries. I verified their authenticity myself. The fences have no inkling that what they're selling has value. Where did these books come from? After several failed attempts, I got my answer underneath the city. There is a hive of hidden pages of passages in Kirkwall sewers. Now and then a lucky sewer rat comes across the unlooted chamber and then a cache of ancient winter relics spread through the black market. We must search below the city. Underneath the cobblestone with curious markings faintly glowing, it is signed the Band of Three. Interesting. Well, that is all of the Band of Three documents that show up in the Act 1 of Dragon Age 2. So the first, well, one of them is in the Gallows Courtyard. One of them is in the Viscount's Keep in Seneschal Bronze office. One of them is in the Bone Pit. It's near some elf root. Um, it's before entering the mine. And then the last one, or the one I just picked up, is in Lowtown Night. The so Lowtown Night, and it's by that manhole cover over there on the right side of the house. Well, I'm always leaving the house, so going towards the house, the left side. Hmm. Alright, but that is all the time we have for today. Um, next time, maybe the Deep, the deep Roads Expedition, finally? We'll probably be looking for... I want to do a little clean, clean sweep to make sure that I got all the supplies. If I have enough, I may just make a video about it on its own, or I might just do that before the um, Deep Roads Expedition, before we kick off the quest. So probably in the same video or its own separate video, depending on depending on how much there is. Um, so yeah, this is really it. This is, this is it. We're all getting ready to go to the Deep Roads Expedition. I've thought about who I want to bring with me. Um, Beric, obviously, I'm pretty sure is locked in. So I've only had to think about bringing two other people. And that is A-okay. Really, A-okay. But I'm excited to move on to the next act. Because beyond that, I literally don't know what's going to happen. Because I played as a little test to see if I liked the game in the first place. I probably, I most likely would have. But as a little test, I wanted to get, I wanted to play through, and then I ended up doing the Deep Roads Expedition after expending all of the quests. So yeah, I'm really excited. Here, I'm still there. I guess we'll just go back home.
yeah, we'll just go back home. But yeah, I'm excited for Act 2. Figure out what's gonna happen. Grow my relationships with my friends. Maybe, maybe start a romance. I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, and then we do have the one DLC. I don't know if I want to do that before the end of the game or like at the end of the game. I'm not sure. So we will, we will see. Those are just things to think about as, um, in the future. But those are things to think about nonetheless. So yeah. Until next time.